and welcome to Game Guru Max Not Live Broadcast number 90. <laughs> I say not live because this ain't live. I recorded this, ooh, a week ago. Just short of a week ago. And so I apologise for that. And of course that means there won't be any Q&A session, questions and answers with me live. However, we have made an accommodation so you can answer, sorry, ask your questions and they will be answered once you've listened to this broadcast number 90. And I also don't need to ask anyone if you can hear me. <laughs> that seems apparent. So we can get straight on and I get to show you what I want to show you this week. So I'm going to boot up the software that I've already done into the Game Guru Max Early Access Hub. And as you can see, these are the nine demo games that we start you off with. Normally, I would go and show you a, a walkthrough of one of our demos. We've got a few demos that I've not demonstrated yet. But this week, I want to show you something that actually came out of the community, which was a question about even can you make a save standalone? Can you make a standalone game and then share it? Well, the answer is yes. So this is going to be my how-to video on how exactly to do that. I'm going to pick one, say, Island Showdown. Uh, just as an example, it could be one you've created yourself or something that you've modified from the demo games. So we'll pick Island Showdown and I'm going to click the Edit Game, which edits the Island Showdown demo project. And as you can see, it takes you to something called the Storyboard. Now what the Storyboard is, it's a layout, visual layout of all the screens of your game. These are all the screens that you're going to need if you're going to have a standalone game. Starting, of course, with the splash screen. When you have a game, the first thing you want to do when you've got a game executable is load in all the necessary assets. And that's what the splash screen does. It hides the, um, the loading step and gives you a nice image to look at. Once all the things have been loaded in, things, <laughs> once the assets have been loaded in, then you can go on to your title screen where you get to select whether you want to play the game and maybe you click the about button that takes to a boat screen so I can click on here so you can give your title maybe credit yourself as the author a description of what your game is about move some buttons around change some images you get the idea if you look at one of the built-in tutorials we go into some depth on how to use the storyboard but I just want to introduce you to the fact this is sort of like your starting point within your game project and if you look down the right hand side of the screen you'll see all the options you have in your storyboard area including export game which is a button called save standalone game which we're now going to press now, the save standalone at the moment has one restriction, in that is you cannot exploit the executable commercially. And the reason we've done that, the reason we've kind of restricted that during our early access, is there's still bugs. There's still bugs, there's still performance improvements we need to make, optimizations, etc. When you save out your game, you want your game players to have a great experience. And believe it or not, we do too. And so that's why we've put this restriction in place. But it is only temporary. I repeat, it is absolutely temporary. We just want to get to a point where we're really happy that the standalone uh, game is great for players. Then we remove the restriction. But in every other respect, the process will be the same. You get this dialog box. You, you can read through all this. But effectively, the upshot is you get to place where it is. So I'm going to leave this at the default, which is my documents writable folder in a folder called My Games. Gives you an option, open the folder after the game has been saved and close Game Guru Max. The reason for that is you can't have multiple versions of Game Guru Max running side by side, it's just a resource hog. Similarly, you can't have a Game Guru Max game and a Game Guru Max editor running side by side, same story. So if you wanted to save a standalone executable and then immediately test that, best thing to do is shut down Max, and we've given you a handy tick box to do that for you. So I'm going to tick that on and start the save standalone process. The progress bar is a little wob sided now in the sense that it will go from 1% to 6% and then straight up to 100. So we're going to feather that out just to represent the actual time it takes to produce a standalone executable. So you see, it basically stops at 6, 
and then the next thing you know you're at 100 <laughs> percent and so as you've just seen it's closed down game guru max it's opened up a new folder for me inside my games and as you can see it's let me just step out a little bit it's created a folder called island showdown and inside here is islandshowdown.exe that's your game executable you run that and you can play the game but before i do i just want to introduce you to these other things these are files that this executable needs in order to run the game some support files certainly a dll the shader blob files uh, the fonts that your game uses and of course all of the media that your game uses and the levels within that game so all these files are essential you can't just share this one file you have to show the whole lot and so what i find the best way right now to do that is zip it up so just take the whole folder compress as a zip then it is one file and with your one file you can then send that to um, anyone you want to play test your game so you could attach it as a Google Drive link or drop it to Dropbox or OneDrive or whatever it is your chosen method of sharing large files. And I say large files because there isn't any jiggery pokery going on in terms of squashing things down. The only time that happens is this process right now, the zip uh, process. The files that you have um, they are the high resolution textures and geometry and sounds and all the things that your game had in it. Those all have to be preserved. So the file is relatively large. I'd say not as large as say a AAA game that's been released. So don't expect it to be 60 gig or 600 gig, uh, but do expect it to be larger than 20 meg. Um, so that's my uh, warning in advance. So I won't go through this process because yeah, you get the idea. You create a zip and then you can share that zip file. So let's run our executable. So that's the splash screen we talked about. <clears throat> We've inserted this just to make sure that our restriction is in place so no one gets the, the wrong impression. However, you know, this isn't a hard and fast rule. If you feel that what you've created is fine and it's stable and it all seems to do everything that you want it to do and you don't want this splash screen get in touch with us it's support at thegamecreators.com and we'll look at what you've created and we'll start that dialogue this isn't a hard and fast rule we're just putting a bit of protection in place ultimately for the games players who are playing all of our wonderful games um, so let's continue past this splash screen and as i mentioned your game consists of many screens one of the first being the title screen we can start, we can load a saved game position, we can quit. A boat takes us to remember that screen we could edit before. Well, this is that screen. And of course, start game, which we can press right now. So this loading screen also can be configured. You can change the image, the text, um, even the graphic for the loading bar. So all of these are customizable and we are gonna allow more customization in the future, we're really looking forward to delivering those additional tweaks to this uh, storyboard system. But more on that um, as we get closer to being able to reveal it in one of our future broadcasts. And here we are. This isn't our part of the Game Guru Max software. This is your standalone game. You do not need Game Guru Max at this point. Just send people your zip file, they extract it, they run that executable, and now they're running around your very own game. Or in this case, uh, one of our demo games. That was kindly created um, as part of a competition by one of the Game Guru Max users. This was not created by us. This was created by one of you guys and gals. <laughs> so I won't play through the whole game. There's a previous broadcast where I fight my way through the island showdown level. Um, but basically, there's a win zone somewhere in there. So when you get to it, you win this particular level. But as I said, let's not run through the, the, the demo a second time. I'll let you enjoy that particular privilege. And when you press the escape key, unlike the Game Guru Max where you would say go back to your level editor, this is another one of your uh, standalone game screens. You can save your game position, load an earlier save position. Graphic settings, you can set low, medium and high. I think we'll improve this with some more options for you. Sound settings for changing the sound volume and the music volume. And controls, 
where you get a shortcut to all of the controls that uh, you need to learn if you're going to navigate and play the game. So not too many controls to learn, but they're pretty standardized. Once you know them, you probably won't need to use that screen again. And finally, main menu takes you all the way back to your title screen and then back out to quick game. So that's what I wanted to show you. Um, I wouldn't say exhaustive, but certainly a nice narrative from I want to make a standalone game. How do I go about it and what do I do when I've done it? So hopefully this little reveal was useful. I'm looking forward to joining you all live next week where we might do another tour of another demo. I think that might happen or maybe another how to. Um, please let us know in the socials uh, if you feel how-to videos are more interesting than demo walkthrough videos. I'm happy to do both, <laughs> but not at the same time on the same week. Uh, so let me know what your preference is and I'll talk to the team and if we all agree, yeah, we'll go and do that. So thanks for your attention. As I mentioned at the beginning, there is um, a link, most likely, <laughs> Um, where you can actually go to, it might be Discord, where you can ask your questions and there'll be a team member, team members, to answer um, all the ones that they can. So until next Wednesday at 7pm GMT, thanks for your attention and I'll speak to you then. Goodbye.